The 8035 Music Festival is now in its 15th year, and tonight organizers are wrapping up day one of the two day festival. Good evening, I'm Janae Town. I'm Elias Johnson. Thanks for ending your week with us, and there's a lot of fun stuff to Always. do, starting with Western Gateway Park. You know, they've hosted the 8035 Festival since we're going back to 2008 now. But that ends after this year's event. WHO 13's Taj Simmons joins us now, and Taj. A new look in 2024. That's right, Janae. A new look and most importantly, a new location. The old stage has hosted legends, the Flaming Lips, David Byrne, the Talking Heads, Public Enemy, and the Wu-Tang Clan, to name a few. But 8035 believes the downtown layout is a bit too small for its ambitions. Before it moves, fans got one last chance to feel the music at Grand and Locust. 8035 became more than a music festival over the years. It became a certified tradition. We've come pretty much every year since the beginning, and we always enjoy it. It's a great part of the city. It's often some music fans' first taste of the city. We knew it was right downtown, so we were able to just come down here, and it was super convenient, and I'm loving it. But just like a growing family, 8035 is leaving their downtown life for a place with a big yard. Next year, the music is moving to Waterworks Park. With Waterworks Park, there's tons of room for new experiential opportunities, more stages of music, maybe camping down the road. So just a, a ton of things we can bring into the festival. Festival organizer Mickey Davis sees a ton of potential with the park's more wide open environment. But some loyal 8035 attendees like Vic Campos Jr. do not know if the magic will carry over from the urban experience. I really think it belongs down here, so. Um, but the new change will be welcome to wherever it goes. I'll still will go. Campos may go to 8035 next year, but he's not exactly happy about it. I wouldn't like it. Parking is a concern. However, other 8035 super fans like Sarah Schaefer don't mind the move as much. I just think that's a great location. I think they've been doing a lot of work there. Um, the beer garden that they have there is really cool. Once outcast rapper Big Boy closes out 8035 Saturday night, the Western Gateway era will end after 15 years. Davis believes Waterworks Park will let the festival, in Big Boy's words, move up in the world like elevators. It feels like 8035 that people know and love, but also kind of takes us to the next level as a festival as well. Well, there is one level 8035 may have to worry about the new location, and that's the water level. You see behind me, Waterworks Park has flooded a few times in recent years, but the organizers are banking on the weather staying stable for festivals to come. And a really big change, you know, we're just talking about this. It seems like festival attendees do want to stay overnight and camp, and it seems like it's going to be a different feel, but as he says, he's trying to keep that traditional 8035 feel as best as he can. Yeah, they're not moving too far away. It'll be look a little yeah. different. But five-minute drive, it's not too terrible. Yeah, not bad at all. Okay, thanks, Taj. 